Welcome Pisces Aries to your sharper reading for November. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in your chakras this month. Coming out is the throat chakra. Talking about that communication. What is it that you need to speak? What is it that you need to listen to? Okay, speaking up. And talking about that inspiration. Something is very inspiring right now. I just feel it like you're very inspired to get things done. Having the desire to finish up a project, get a project started, doing something of this nature. Very nice. And there's hope coming out. So a lot of hope coming out through this. It's talking about the black, talking about the angering yourself to the earth star chakra. So feeling very stable. This is going to make you feel very stable. And the hope is, it almost feels more hopeful um, than maybe you realize or really keeping that hope alive. But I do feel a lot of hope coming off of whatever it is you're doing. Um, so very beautiful, my friends. Let's see what's next. Just keep the cards here. It'll be easier. <laughs> next you have expand your horizons, jumping out of the box. Wow. So really wanting to jump out of this box and really expand the horizons. So it feels like whatever you're inspired to do, it feels like you even want to, like, reach a different level. Um, how do I explain that? Like you're here, you know, you're like here in this box, but you know, there's so much more, right? So you really want to expand whatever you're doing. Um, so it feels like you could start one project and then kind of like, um, expand upon that, uh, project, right? So pretty much kind of like, um, if you're fixing, if you're fixing the kitchen and you're doing all the cabinets, maybe you're looking at the floor going, you know what, I want to do the floors next, that kind of thing. So looking beyond and seeing other things up on the horizon over here that could be fixed as well, that type of uh, scenario going on. So it's almost like nothing um, is beyond what it seems because I am so inspired and I have all this inspiration to just continue to keep going strong. And it's almost like the more I keep looking out, I just keep wanting to do more and more and more and feeling that hope. Very nice. So for the big happy changes, it also feels like you might even be um, inspiring someone else to want to jump out of the box with you, um, trying to take them with you, um, trying to get their attention, trying to communicate, hey, look at what I'm doing. Would you like to help me along the way? Okay, let's see what we have over here. Fly like an eagle, seize opportunities courageously. So whatever it is that you're doing, it's like sky's the limit over here. Um, that's really what that is. Taking control of a situation and holding tight. I um, mean, it feels like you have the funds that are necessary to do so. So it doesn't feel like it's something that um, is beyond your limits when it comes to uh, money. You might even be saving a lot of money to even expand these horizons. Really saving to do even more. Um, with the hangman over here, like I said, maybe trying to get this other Pisces or this Cancer or their Scorpio's attention um, to want to take action with you, um, trying to get them to say, you know, hey, look, I'm jumping out of this box. Would you like to come jump with me? Um, and it feels like it's a little hard to get them to um, participate in this opportunity that you're taking. Okay, so very nice. But it is talking about, you know, ready to take action feeling like you had saved enough money to do so. Okay, let's see what's going on over here for you. So lots of inspiration over here. A lot of dedication. Another good word. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. And yes, definitely feeling inspired for the perfect timing and also being able to see um, outside of this box over here with with it landing on expand your horizons is a good thing because it's saying hey you have the perfect timing to look and intuitively look at everything around you so you can really see all kinds of things going on that are um, that are going on and not only that you can dig deep right really kind of doing a little shadow work hey if I did this I can do that think of where I can go look at that thinking clearly so and also communicating exactly what you're thinking. And it does feel like you could be um, communicating to this uh, this Capricorn or this Pisces or this Cancer. I don't know, I keep seeing a lot of Cancer for someone as well. Um, 
really communicating what you're seeing over here with the, look at that, the Nine of Coins coming out. So you definitely are talking about something materialistic, going after this job, traveling towards things that are making you feel uh, more comfortable, um, working on maybe the house project or a project at work. Um, and really expanding those limits. Wow, a lot of money coming through. This could be very satisfactory, especially if you're flipping houses or doing something of this nature. Um, so definitely having that 10 of coins coming out. It's talking about that overall satisfaction, building this business, however it is. And the King of Cups coming out as a beautiful Pisces uh, energy for yourself, saying, I'm keeping all of my emotional... Um, values exactly where they need to be and taking the authority where I need this authority to be. Um, so you could feel like if somebody wasn't on board with you, you're going to just be like, okay, that's fine. You're going to pick up the pace. You're going to see what's going to happen. Maybe they need to wait for the outcome. Maybe they need to wait till it's almost done. And then they can come back and say, whoa, what are you doing over here? Kind of get their, their attention uh, to what's going on. But it feels like you're saying it doesn't matter, you know, whether or not you 100% jump out of this box or not. I'm just communicating to you to see if you want to come join me is really what it feels like. Look at that. And could be dealing also with an Aquarius. Um, and definitely, so I got Capricorn. It could be a Taurus, a Pisces, a Cancer, or an Aquarius. Um, and definitely having, though, this knowledge of where you're going and how things are going to be. And you're doing it very professional. Um, and I think that this other person actually sees you as very professional as well. And I do think you're gonna get their attention. Um, the more you keep doing what you're doing, it's almost like you're kind of inspiring them to want to get up to say, uh, Pisces Aries, what are you doing? <laughs> and I do see them wanting to take action with you and saying, oh, oh, okay, well, then let's go. So, you know, definitely kind of catching their attention. I don't know. They've been kind of sitting on their butt a little bit, not doing anything or paying attention. All of a sudden, now the, this project's really getting moving, and they really want to know what's going on, especially with the King of Swords over here. What are you, what are you doing over here? <laughs> Might even be dealing with a Leo, huh? <clears throat> getting the cat's attention, um, respect. There's a lot of respect and just make sure that you're continuing, uh, continuing to give the respect to yourself as you're working. Um, and everything that you're doing is respectful. Um, it does feel like wherever you are going within this um, area, you're gonna also get a lot of respect back from this other person as well, because they're gonna be very inspired as well um, once they actually start paying attention um, to what you're doing. So overall, it's just a very respectful thing. Um, for yourself, right? Because you're kind of respecting your own way, your own path, and your own goals. So good job, guys. Okay, and really using that kind of third eye over here to really see what it, the bigger picture is. And we see that over here also with the Ace of Swords saying, I clearly can see exactly what's going on because I'm using my intuition with the moon. So, okay. Beautiful reading, guys. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.